a rector of the uh, Vega Metal Tree in Germany. And uh, I'm Italian, based in Italy, and uh, glad to be here today to introduce you to a disruptive technology in the way of metalizing uh, labels and packaging uh, in general. Let me start uh, from a basic concept, uh, sustainability. This is probably the latest uh, definition we have about sustainability, but in my humble point of view, sustainability has another root uh, which is very important, which is to sustain, so to really help each other in a progress uh, uh, for, for business and uh, um, yeah, for the business. Uh, when we look at, uh, I've been working in this industry for the last 30 years in the graphic industry. It's an industry I love a lot because uh, it's really driven uh, by consumers. The evolutions of the consumer demands are taken by the brand owners in the way they design, uh, they, they invent new products and then graphics uh, uh, have to follow. But when, we, uh, when I look uh, at the uh, evolution that our uh, graphic arts uh, industry has, I can say it's a continuous, never-ending uh, process. Uh, we have seen uh, small photocopiers now becoming huge print uh, engines. Uh, I've seen huge rotogravure presses to get narrower and narrower to take care of uh, uh, shorter and shorter runs. Uh, but if I would ask, you, uh, when was the last time that you saw in our industry a real game-changing uh, phase? I think we would all recall uh, Landa, 1995, uh, Benny Landa introduced Indigo to the world, and that was really a game-changer. He invented uh, digital printing. Since then, these guys made their fortune buying over Indigo, and uh, I can say today they are absolutely the market leader in that technology. Benny Langer was the inventor. But when it comes to metallization, uh, do you, can you remember ever any real uh, game changer? Uh, embellishment of packaging is a tremendous thing today. We, the brand owners, they all want uh, their products to pop out uh, from the shelves, right? Like a buy me effect. Um, but if we look back uh, into the technology, we still use today what was used uh, probably a hundred years ago. So we take a leaf, a uh, hundred years ago was probably a real golden leaf to be pressed on uh, book covers and stuff like that. So we take a leaf, we press it, we, we heat it, uh, and we transfer part of that uh, metallic effect uh, onto the product that we want. Of course, um, um, it delivers an eye-catching effect, which is very important. Uh, but today, we are still using uh, the technology that was available 100 years ago. Of course, foils have developed a lot. Uh, they perform a lot better today, they are much cheaper, uh, but we still need a, a plastic uh, foil carrier to bring uh, metallic effects uh, on the surface of printed label, printed cartons. We still need to press it down with glue or with, uh, um, or with uh, uh, heat. So, nothing really changed in the past 100 years uh, when it comes to embellishment. But, uh, of course, the prices went down, so we can now have uh, uh, metal effects uh, on every sort of packaging, even on cheaper kind of labels and, and, and packaging. Um, so this is what the industry is asking, uh, more embellishment, more decoration. But there is a fact. Uh, the new mantra is today, we have to help uh, saving the planet. So when it comes uh, to uh, this thing, maybe Greta Thunberg was the initiator of this uh, uh, requirement, but now things are in the hands of our politicians. And the G20 in Rome and the COP26 in Glasgow just demonstrated that a political decision was taken to help and to change things to cool down the planet and to help having a real climate change back of 1.5 degrees. 
And just to recall a couple of statements, uh, uh, statements of Mario Draghi after this COP26 in Glasgow. Mario Draghi was the former uh, president of the ECB. He said, money is not an issue. And aside of that, um, renewable energies will not be sufficient. We have to look for other technologies as well. So we are all responsible for this process. And uh, the politics alone, or the private sector alone, cannot do it. It's too massive. It's a too big uh, of a request. So in the next 10, 20 years, uh, the governments are going to invest trillions of dollars into this process of climate changing, right? It's a huge effort that the whole world will do together. Now, we have seen what happened for COVID-19, the way the world invested and did every possible thing to work together to find solutions and the amount of money that has been spent in that sector. With the climate change, that will only be number of times uh, bigger. Okay, so imagine the amount of money that will come into this picture. But what will our companies do with all these incentives? Okay, can we put more solar panels, buy more electrical vehicles? Okay, but then what's the next uh, step? That, what is the next solution? When all this money will flow into the economy, we will need technologies that deliver solutions to help saving the planet. And here we come. Atega has bought over from Benny Landa, again the inventor of digital printing, in 2017, a disruptive technology called Ecoleaf that works on nanoparticles to resolve the problem of embellishment by removing completely plastics. What we do with one kilogram of our uh, metal flakes, pigments, we can substitute up to three tons of uh, foils. And this is just a picture to show the amount of waste which is generated in the backyard of uh, label converters or folding carton uh, converters when it comes to, um, to waste. So one kilo equal to three tons. Now, Actega is part of the Altana Group in Germany, uh, which owns different uh, uh, companies, uh, all in the chemical field of uh, uh, graphic arts uh, and not only. Uh, so we, with this technology, we are able to bring together the uh, metal flakes uh, from Eckhart, uh, the varnishes from Altana, and so we control the entire uh, process. Altana itself as a company has a plan to become zero emission neutral by 2025, which is basically day after tomorrow. And uh, this is our motto, let us make the world a little bluer, where blue is the new green, okay? Um, and beside uh, the fact that they want to become carbon neutral by 25, uh, they are working on different projects uh, to uh, the graphic industry to help uh, printers and converters and brand owners uh, to be better sustainable. I'm here today to talk to you about uh, uh, my company, Arctega Metal Print, and about uh, Ecoleaf, how this technology works in terms of uh, metallization. When you have uh, a design like this, with uh, very small portions uh, of uh, foil being used, the amount of waste uh, can be up to 90%. So we need to use a full uh, coverage of uh, uh, foil layer, but when we strip it off, uh, only 10% of that metal remains on the substrate. 90% stays on the foil and we have to throw it away. So. Those, those of you who are converters or visited the uh, printing companies, and if you look at the backyard, you see images like this, like tons of materials laying down, which you even need to pay 
to dispose because actually it's not recyclable, so it has to be either landfill or, or burnt. So there are heavy taxes uh, on, on, on these as well. Just to give you a figure, an average uh, label converter will use in average six tons uh, of uh, foil every year, but a bigger converter can be up to 10 times that. Now we're talking one company. Imagine globally on tens of thousands of companies, what is the impact uh, uh, of foils uh, um, on the planet. And here comes the solution. And really, I talk from the deep of my heart to graphic designers and brand owners. Now, if you don't know that something exists, of course, you will never change your way of thinking. We are here today to present a disruptive solution to tell you that metallization without using foil is possible. And it's extremely important because the way you design your products reflects on the way converters use technology and then that reflects uh, on the way um, we have, we generate or we don't generate uh, this kind of waste. This technology was invented by Benilanda, it was developed by Actiga and it is today available for the market. What we do, we only deliver the right amount of uh, flakes, uh, of metal flakes that we need on specific designated areas with no waste. I say the three tons of foil correspond to one kilo, so we are one to three thousand as a ratio, one kilo of our metal pigments. The saving in terms of CO2 emissions is 20 tons, the correspondence of this converting of uh, 3,000 kilos of foil into one kilo of flakes. And 20 tons of CO2 saving is like planting every year 550 trees, new trees. So it's a huge, huge impact in terms of environment. So this technology can really revolutionize the world. Now, uh, it's a very simple process. I'll show you now in three steps how it works. Uh, it's a technology available for Flexo, for offset and for digital, for new and for existing uh, uh, machines. Very simple, we apply what we call a trigger image, so it's a kind of a cold blue effect. We immediately cure it with a UV lamp, then the image goes through a silicon coated roller where we um, grind, we coat these metal flakes uh, on the surface of the drum. The drum then transfers the image only on the uh, blue painted uh, areas. And at the end of the process, uh, those areas can even be overprinted to get colorized or goldish uh, effects uh, on top of that. So, very simple, but it's really a paradigm change tons of foils into grams of metal flakes. Like I said before, nobody can make the change for the world climate alone. We all have to work together. So it's extremely important that when we buy a product, when you design a product or when a brand owner decides how to manufacture a product and for a converter, which technology they decide to adopt, it's important that we think of the environment and also about our pockets because you imagine that eliminating these tons of foils, of raw materials, means to reduce also the cost quite dramatically. Um, we need to find uh, alternative uh, technologies because unless we can uh, imagine uh, of a future world uh, where goods are not packed anymore, and I cannot imagine uh, uh, a situation like that, the only way is to find sustainable solutions uh, to produce this packaging. So we need to change the way we think of packaging, the way we uh, design it and uh, produce it. 
because the new generations are asking us all together, they're asking me, but they're asking you also as brand owners uh, to find uh, new ways of designing. Egolif can prove to save up to five times in CO2 emissions when compared to the use of foils. You don't need to be, we don't need to be engineers to understand from those pictures the incredible ratio that there is between foils and metaflakes, right? So we are talking about huge uh, impact uh, in removing uh, plastics. And again, we are not only removing plastic, we are removing uh, our waste of metal, which goes between 50% to 90% in some cases. And it's all raw material that we bought to be used in our machines, and after a few hours we have to throw away unused. It's like new, but it cannot be reused, right? So it's our money in the end. So, if you are willing to contribute to the next revolution towards uh, sustainability, you have to make your first step uh, into understanding how Ecolif uh, works and how we can uh, help you to also save the world. My name is Paolo Grasso and uh, I will be glad of meeting you at the uh, Booth 828 of Actega Metal Printing. If you have any questions, we will be glad to answer. Thank you very much.